uh, Chandrayaan-3, uh, India's moon mission, India's bid to become only the fourth nation on this planet uh, to attempt, successfully attempt rather, uh, a soft landing on the south pole, the, the dark side of the moon. Um, Chandrayaan update, Pankaj, uh, to give you and the viewers as well. The ISRO has raised the orbit of the lunar mission for the fifth time successfully. The mission gradually uh, is boosting its orbit around the Earth and the lander is preparing for its final shot towards the moon called the lunar insertion. Now, the spacecraft has been placed into an elliptic parking orbit. Uh, I mean, to the non-scientific person, it seems like... Uh, the spacecraft is just in a limbo going round and round around the Earth till about the 1st of August uh, for when it will finally make its uh, shot and direction towards the lunar insertion. The, it seems like the, uh, the, the test craft right now is uh, well positioned. Everything is going according to plan, right? Right, absolutely. And uh, what a way, actually, uh, Kabir. Uh, to uh, mention uh, uh, Chandrayaan here, obviously, uh, you know, when we wake up uh, uh, to the uh, vagaries and uh, I would say at times miseries of nature, uh, you know, talking about the extraterrestrial uh, space also uh, is uh, very fascinating. And knowing the reasons behind it also uh, is uh, uh, pretty hmm. exciting for many. Now, as far as Chandrayaan, uh, as you said, the little baby is concerned. Uh, uh, from the Indian side up in the skies, obviously. So basically what is happening is uh, when Chandrayaan, obviously when the rocket uh, left uh, the rover uh, uh, and the lander uh, up in the space, it circles around the moon and uh, uh, tries to, you know, get into the lunar orbit. And with five sets of rounds minimum, which I, uh, I think I've uh, picked up, uh, it's Translunar injection, which is uh, the entry into the lunar orbit, happens. So far, things have gone perfectly okay. Yesterday also, ISRO came up with uh, the bulletin saying that uh, uh, the functioning is perfectly fine. Now, following the final orbit uh, raising maneuver, the ISRO would be performing the translunar injection, which means that uh, the lander and the rover would be entering the lunar orbit, uh, the moon's orbit on August 1 to slingshot Chandrayaan-3 towards the moon. This part, the hmm. slingshot part and the soft landing part was the one that, uh, you know, kept all of us on tender hooks uh, uh, when last time in uh, 2022 also, uh, sorry, 2019, uh, the Chandrayaan-2 had, uh, uh, you know, been sent up in the sky. And the next firing, the translunar injection, TLI as they call it, is planned for August 1st between midnight, 1 a.m. IST. So basically, this is, uh, Kabir, a uh, simple aspect that uh, the uh, apparatus would be entering into the lunar orbit and then circling the moon, it would try to make a soft landing on the lunar surface at the dedicated space on the darker right. side of the moon. Once it's uh, about 100 kilometers away from the lunar surface is when it's uh, finally going to make its descent. Last time around, it was the descent portion uh, that did not go yes. as per, uh, you know, plans. This time around, everybody's hopeful. I mean, at least uh, the Indian Space Research Organization is certainly hopeful that it will happen. There are several other modifications and several other technologies that have been retrofitted uh, into the old, uh, you know, the lander and rover because the basic design is pretty much the same. Just the size and a little bit of variations in the latest uh, Pragyan rover and the Vikram lander. All eyes on the 1st of August when we're finally going to uh, slingshot into the lunar uh, you know, orbit that is called, going to be called the lunar insertion, all eyes on that.